name's Sarah, I'm from NNA for those who don't know me, that's a UK charity. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming. Um, I know some of you have travelled halfway around the world to be here and it's just incredible the number of people that I've met. Um, this year we decided... <laughs> That's a rumbling Can you still hear me? <laughs> so, this, so this year we decided to put in place the uh, Vaping Advocacy Awards um, to really so that we could uh, recognise and honour those people, all of whom are here, pretty much, who put so much work in over the year to try and protect um, tobacco harm reduction problem, uh, products, and particularly vaping, um, not only for ourselves, but also for um, those smokers in the future who may wish to uh, switch to them. So what we did, because obviously you know, we wanted to honour the uh, consumers, we also wanted to honour those um, people who, through their professional work, um, have done so much in the, in, in the cause of promoting tobacco harm reduction. So there's actually two awards. Um, one for a consumer advocate and one for a professional advocate. Now I can't think of anything more fitting than having the man whose invention will probably save millions of lives over the coming years to present the awards. And so I would like to introduce you to, <laughs> introduce you to and you can tell that I'm absolutely star starstruck. <laughs> if I can introduce you to Mr Han, who we know better as Honlik. Well,非常荣幸，呃，今天能够跟大家共聚一堂，我的发明呢，能够得到各位女士和先生的推崇和喜爱，呃，这是我的成就。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Very honored to be here together with you, everybody. We're having this pre-party before our conference. Uh, Mr. Hong's uh, invention uh, could be recognized and being part of your passion is really his honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, I thought about giving a speech, <laughs> but I don't think it's really, really necessary to explain to this bunch of people here the benefits of electronic cigarettes. Actually, I got in touch with his product as soon as I, I think I was the first person outside of China who got in touch with an electronic cigarette. It was in 2005 when I had this first thing. I was a heavy smoker, about two packs a day, you know? and I tried it once, and I was convinced. And I started to, to write reports on this Ruyang product. It was just imported from China. So the birth of the electronic cigarettes out of China was in Austria, in Styria, in Leoben, near Leoben. This was the, the, the real birth. Oh, what you are doing here, I was, I was at the beginning. And I write reports, I was enthusiastic. I said, okay, within 15 years, this was in 2005, which there's still a chance, within 15 years, tobacco smoking will be wiped out will be gone because of the electronic cigarettes because there's no need to smoke anymore but I didn't know of course I didn't expect that anybody could say anything 
anything against this product because the advantage is so obvious. It's so very obvious and all our opponents know it very well. So we don't need any scientific arguments. I still try to do it to its science base. But it's not necessary. What I realized is that everybody, everybody objecting against electronic cigarettes knows exactly the potential potential this product has. Anyway, when I was informed by email that I got this award, I was really surprised because I'm a scientist, but I'm doing something else. I mean, I'm in cardiovascular pharmacology, I'm doing molecular biology and stuff like that. I'm not a nicotine expert, I'm not actively doing research in tobacco harm reduction. There are others, there are many, many scientists outside. I see one or two or three here around. So they would much more deserve it. I don't know why I got this. It's a board. No idea. I think this is a decision of the community because they, I'm one of the only, I'm the, probably the only one in the German speaking area. And the German, German community was pretty active in, 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 the, in the decision. Anyway, the damage is done. <laughs> I got the, got the award and all I can do is to thank the jury or the judges or whoever decided that on behalf of the real scientists the ones who are doing active research, I see Constantinos just in front of me, are doing active research in favor of electronic cigarettes, who are publishing who are papers. I have only one, one single paper on nicotine, and that's this bloody stupid reason. <laughs> Anything else is done by others. Anyway, I thank the jury. I don't want to keep you from drinking your beer or vodka or whatever you have. And I, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Consumer advocate, I know you're all aware how much how much work is involved in advocating this consumer and what a thankless task it is. And so the second award goes to Jens Mellin, who unfortunately can't be with us tonight, and so Hans Holy is here to accept the award on his behalf. Yeah, good evening everybody. Uh, she already said Jens uh, could not make it because of the personal situation at home. We already knew it before. Of course, he's very honored. Um, so he sent me instead, asked me to take his prize. I think it's, uh, it's a really good thing he does. It's his one man show his, his ability to um, put complicated things into very few sentences to explain them very easy. He achieved that even a German court based its decision on his blog, which is a wonderful thing because they decided that uh, the e-cigarette is a consumer's product, a tobacco product, a medicinal product, a consumer's product. So I think he really deserves it because he makes a wonderful job for the people in Germany. He asked me also to forward a few words um, from him to you and just read it from if you allow. A short and simple. Electronic cigarettes do not contain tobacco and involve more combustion. Of course everybody knows it. Yeah. And this was the result of a five minute internet search after he accidentally came into contact with a strange looking ball paint pen looking device three and a half years ago. He found this information in the paper Electronic Cigarettes as a Harm Reduction Strategy for Tobacco Control a Step Forward or a Repeat of Past Mistakes from Zachary Kahn and Michael Ziegler. And uh, this was the end of a smoking career and he said simultaneously the beginning of a still ongoing voyage through the abysses of public health. Uh, Jens smoked about 75 cigarettes a day and was able to switch to e cigarette from one day to the next. 25 years of smoking, countless attempts to stop. Most of them cold turkey, some with medicinal products, but all of them unsuccessful. Shortly after he had switched to e cigarettes, two different things appeared simultaneously. First, the smoker's cup disappeared, breathing, sense of taste, and sense of smell improved. 
Um, second, the launch of a campaign against e-cigarettes full of dishonesty, cherry picking and scaremongering. In the end, the combination of these two circumstances led him to the decision. First, to advocate for e-cigarettes, to gather any information available, to write to scientists, newspapers and politicians, at least to explain and publish these often difficult, understandable data in his blog between and behind the lines of tobacco, pharma and health lobby. So, he would say, looking at the Vaping Advocate of the Year Award, it seemed that I've reached a few people. His hope for the future is that he can reach even more people, that we all together can reach more people with the truth. Thank you very much.